Hello there. Welcome to the SureForms YouTube channel. If you are facing issues with setting up email notifications for your form submission, this video is exactly for you. Today, let's look into why you might be getting the email server was unable to send the email notification error in your form entries and how to solve it. For this, we will need to connect to an SMTP plugin. Click on SMTP on the SureForms dashboard. You can use any SMTP plugin you want, but we recommend using SureMail because SureMail is totally compatible with SureForms. It offers tons of useful features and it's totally free to use. Just click on the Install SureMail Now button and it will install and activate the plugin for you. After activating the plugin, it will take you to SureMail's dashboard where we will need to connect with an SMTP provider. From the list, choose whatever provider you are using or want to use. Let's go with Netcore in this video. Now provide the API key and other details from your SMTP provider. In the From Email box, provide an email address, preferably from which you want to receive the notification email. But make sure to uncheck the Force From Email button. That's because we will be doing these email settings on the form level. We are using SureMail just to set up a connection. Lastly, save these changes. SureMail allows you to check if the connection is set up correctly by sending a test email. Let's check if the connection is done right by just clicking on this Send Test Email button. As you can see, the test email was sent successfully. You can also check that out from SureMail's email log. Successful means the connection is done right. Now, let's get back to SureForms. From the Forms tab, click Edit under the form on which we want to set the form submission notification. Now, from the sidebar, go to Email Notification, click on the Edit icon on the existing setting. On the name, put whatever name you want to give the setting, and on the Send Email to box, put the email address where you want to receive the form submission notifications. You can also configure the mail body as you wish. Now the important part. You need to be careful while setting the From Email credentials. When you are using an SMTP provider, you need to use an email address in the From Email box that is verified by your SMTP provider, or use an email with a verified domain address. Otherwise, your email might get blocked by the provider and the notification never reaches your inbox. Now, let's put a demo email here first to check if this is correct. I am saving the form and let's fill out the form once to check if I get any notification for the form submission. Checking on the form entries. As you can see, for the form I just submitted, the issue is still there and I didn't receive any notification via email. Let's get back to the form and try with a different from email address, which is verified by the SMTP provider I am using, or an email with a domain that is verified by my SMTP provider. You might notice a warning here saying, your current email address doesn't match your website domain name, but as you are using an email verified by your SMTP provider, you can ignore the message. Now, let's save the form and submit another application. For this submission, I immediately got an email notifying me about the submission. As you can see, this email is about the form that we just submitted. We can check out the form entry log too to see what the notification status is showing this time. As you can see, for the form we just submitted, there is an email notification recipient. Let's check my SMTP email log too, to check the email delivery status. Here, you can see that the latest email for the form submission was delivered successfully, while the previous email was not successful. That means our email notification settings are done correctly now, and we are ready to receive emails notifying us about a form submission. Subscribe for more such contents.